So welcome back to Jay's Air Garage. Um, it's been a while, and I know I told you about what happened to the Granada, but I haven't shown you anything yet. So uh, I've been using the Cortina for a while now. It's now uh, July 18th today, and uh, Cortina's been running fine. A uh, couple of small issues. It started eating its own front tires. Um, bought a new set of tires, did an alignment. Then, um, regular service stuff, you know, an old points car, I had to adjust the points, um, clean up a few things, these new air cleaner, and, um, the Granada has been sitting, I put a, I stole a fuel filter and some of the fuel lines off the Granada, put it on a Cortina, just because those are newer, and I had them, I later replaced that filter, so I now have two spare small filters in the back of the Cortina just because it's fine to have. It's cheap and it's a nice thing to keep with you in case they clog up, it's an old car. So um, I have bought a set of rear fenders and a door for the Cortina along with the, no, not the Cortina, for the Granada and along with a window because, well, I'm still missing a window but that's pretty much what I need. So, uh, let's have a look at it. No, this is not Granada. This is the dented 240 door from that Project 240 we had. That's my rear bumper. New front fender. Old front fender. You can see it's kind of torn up back here. The rust and it's pretty much dinged up all the way up here. That trim has been flattened from there all the way over there. But you can see some things here can't you rear suspension on the ground drive shaft a bunch of dents yeah it's pretty bad so the car hit I'm guessing around here and um, tore on backwards ripped the wheel and everything out of the rear suspension there's a part missing there Sheared all the bolts, bent the shock, pulled the whole subframe backwards, bent the attachment point for the rear subframe. You can see it's kinked the rocker, it's kinked the B pillar inwards, it's pulled everything back. Of course, bashed in the window on both the door and the rear window up there. Rear glass is still fine. I've just popped the gasket out so I can make sure if I need a new one because I need to order that soon. In that case, pull the seat out. There's a lot of damage just behind there because where that went in, it's bent the rear seat, you know, the bottom where it's supposed to sit. Seats are fine. The back seems to have gotten a bit of a twist. But the seats haven't been bent massively. You can see now that it kind of goes up there, but that's been that's been sitting against the side there for so long. It's misshaped a bit. And yeah, that's rear that's a front fender. And if we go in here, this is where I stored the door. Because the door still has the door card in it. You can see it tore. The front, well, the upper hinge clean off. It tore the bottom one almost clean off. Not quite all the way. It was still hanging there. So, you know, after the accident, I go to open the door, pop the door handle, push the door, and the door just falls straight to the ground. Still on the front bottom hinge, but, you know, just fell down. Pop the trim off, you know, Turn the window to mush. Mirror somehow survived. Uh, the door just, you know, it's rusty because it was laying outside for a little bit. Till I realized the door card's still on. Just put it inside. But you know, this door is completely buggered. New one coming. New fender coming. Awesome. Also bought a second right fender because. It wasn't affected in the accident, but it was dented when I got it. 
It wasn't affected in the accident, but it was dented when I got it, so, you know... Some shit happens. You can go around the back here and you can see, since it tore the rear wheel off, the wheel went up in here and just completely demolished all of this. You can see it's cracked along the uh, rear wheel housing there. It's bent that. It's got a kink in this. I got a ton of crap in the trunk now because I'm just throwing everything in the back here. You know, it's split this all the way. There's a massive hole here. You know, just it tore shit up when that wheel went up. So luckily, the front, the rear fenders I'm getting, they've been cut here. So we'll just have to reconstruct some bits, you know, on this side, and then cut this rear fender wherever they cut it. Go around here. And uh, this is the reason I bought another right fender to fix that problem. And if we go inside here, one thing, well it's all this. It's been bent up here. And you can see a lot of damage. Kink the rocker up, see it here, bent it up, pushed some of this in. But in the accident, I've also been in here stolen the CD player. I'm sorry about this new camera, it's zooming a bit more than I think it does, and it's not even on zoom. Um, yeah, you can see I've torn the seat out, gotten most of the Things I have to get out from the back. But in the accident, you know, I was driving. I was doing, well, by the time of the accident, I'd slowed it down to about 60, well, 55, 60, somewhere around there. And it hit. And since, you know, tore the rear wheel off, it was an abrupt stop. So my knee went here into that as you can see that it's a bit you know concave right there not supposed to be like that that was my knee hitting it and I was pretty damn sure that I hit the knee on the door or something but it wasn't until I got the door off you can see the bottom door hinge there's what's left of it was mangled this is what was holding the door on um, got the door off and I saw this my knee went there and bent the dashboard. That's completely fine. Just bent shit. Uh, yeah. So new, new fenders are coming. They're cut about, cut right about here, actually, with the roof. So we'll be able to um, replace some of this and uh, put it back together again. Just in time, because I don't want to drive the Cortina in the winter. It's been a while again. Last time was July 18th, today is August something, um, 11th maybe? Uh, I started my summer vacation yesterday. So yesterday I got a door back on it, I swapped out the hinges, took them from that car, which is a 2 liter 4 door, took the hinges off of it, and today I stripped the rear suspension out of it, because the only things still usable on my old suspension was everything here up to the diff. What was on the other side was garbage, along with that cross member. Wherever this goes, yeah, cross member there. So I have to swap the diff out on this suspension. This is a two liter diff, so I can't really use it. It's gonna be stupidly revvy. Um, swap out that diff, put the springs from that car back on. Maybe I'll go over the diff while I first have it out, but you know. One of those things you should do. Um, then get that suspension ready to pop back in the car once fenders are back. So another couple of days have gone by. I have gotten some done. The coupe is lacking its rear quarter and some of the stiffness things around the um, around the uh, rear subframe mounting point. Uh, 
Also got the B-pillar straightened back out, so the door will shut properly. The parts car, I've started cutting that up. Um, I've taken an angle grinder to the rear quarter to get the rear wheel arch. And I'm also going to have to go take the wheel house along with the spare wheel well. Um, complete rocker on the driver's side and that part from the coupe that is um, bent. I'll just show you. Well, there's the coupe rear quarter cut out of it. Um, you can see the wheelhouse, it's loose pretty much. There is that uh, stiffening, strengthening plate. We open the door. See in here, there's a lot of rust down here. It goes all the way over there actually. Um, I'll cut this part out. This is gonna have to come out and be replaced with, along with pretty much everything from around here somewhere, all the way across, up. I'm gonna cut this around here, do the uh, transmission tunnel around here. Well, actually, drive shaft tunnel. Um, then the stiffener up here, do the floor around here somewhere, up to here, over and along here. Because this part is bent really badly and torn and rusted. So I'm not going to reuse this. We're going to cut that out of the spare or the donor car. Um, door shuts really nice all the way around. Nice gaps. Um, I removed the lock mechanism and the handle because what was on this door was seized. I guess it was rusted out or something. Uh, you can see now that there's a bit of a gap from the door up to the quarter. That's because there is no trim in here while well, the weather's stripping. So there's nothing keeping the door where it's supposed to be. But it's supposed to be around there. And that gives a nice smooth edge. Um, I'm gonna have to take the rocker out, of course, because it's bent and kinked up around there where it was rusted. And I'll replace this whole section. I'm thinking I'm just gonna take it up to the weld up front there, um, around here somewhere. Do the whole thing. I was gonna do this this summer anyway, like fix the rust. Now, well, I get to fix a lot more. Um, of course, the interior is stripped out. Also removed most of the crap from the trunk. So, um... Next step now is over here on the parts car. I've uh, done a line around there. Also gone down here. There's some left here, but I'll do that with a hammer and a chisel. Um, started doing the spot welds. But finding them is proving to be very difficult. Because for some strange reason, Ford has managed to make these spot welds really flush. You can barely feel them. That's why I have so many holes. Because there aren't as many spot welds. There's one here that I haven't even gotten all the way off. And down here. But it's so difficult to find them. That I just have to go by where is it pinched the most. Which sometimes is lying. So I am just going to take an angle grinder and cut it here. Remake the inner lip because I'm gonna have to do that up here anyway so I'll cut it along out here and get that lip remade after I get this thing off so I'll just get to it and when uh, I've gotten this section off well this wheel arch then I'm gonna have to start figuring out how to cut the rear wheel well out along with uh, the spare wheel well. I'm kind of thinking I'll just take the saw saw because I just I went to work today just to pick up the saw saw and borrow it because they're not going to need it, I hope. I'll just try to saw saw the wheel arch, well, the wheel housing out of it, and then I'll have to do this part because this is how what it's supposed to look like in my car. You know that point that was really bent? Yeah, that's what it's supposed to look like. So I'm going to take this entire section out of this car and transplant it over into mine. Well, they're both mine, but in the coupe. Then, sauce all the pillars off, get the rocker off, and um, 
when all the straightening work on all the damaged bits are done. I will also take this part because mine is well a little bit bent and very rusty. So I'll take that off and um, transplant that over to the coupe as well. And that'll be it for this time. Now come back later and you'll see more of the Granada being straightened back out. It's gonna be a lot of work. I have two weeks left of my vacation with this week. This weekend I'm going away, which means I'm not going to be able to do anything. So, my goal is by the time my vacation is over, that thing is on its wheels again. Movable. The fender isn't back on. Well, there's spare time in every day. There are always weekends. I can always get that done at some time. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. You can like, comment, and subscribe down below. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.